of every one of us who lives more than 600 kilometers away from the closest civilization, a location where you can live without water, electricity, or outside communication for nine months. Think about a resident in a place where the average annual low temperature is minus 58 degrees Celsius. This is not just foolish, it's absurd. Interestingly enough, one couple made it big in just such a situation. Without a doubt, it's Haimo Kors and Edna. In this video, we'll look at who they are, death speculation, their tragedy, what they're doing now, where they are now, and much more. A documentary series on Discovery Channel called The Last Alaskans focuses into the lives of people who live in Alaska, one of the most isolated regions. The show centers on these final few people who, by adopting unusual lifestyles in the pure wilderness, are able to survive hundreds of miles away from civilization. The Last Alaskans is a popular American reality TV series. The first episode of the series aired on Animal Planet on May 25, 2015. The second season aired on the Discovery Network on April 12, 2016. The fourth and last season debuted on the Discovery Channel on November 25, 2018. The show follows a number of families and trappers that live in Alaska's Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. 2019 saw the end of The Last Alaskans after its fourth season. Who are they? It's tough to figure out why someone would choose to live in a remote region and reject conventions of society, particularly if they have lived their entire lives in a highly crowded town or city. It should be remembered, too, that Haimo and Edna Korth chose to survive only on fishing and hunting, suffering severe weather in a hut cut off from civilization in search of a place they could call home. Edna and Haimo aren't the only residents of the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge. In fact, if you've watched The Last Alaskans even once, you probably already know that they're the ones who live there for the longest period of time and in the most isolated remote location away from civilization. It's hard to ignore the risks and challenges that Edna and Haimo face, even though life on the station is fascinating to anyone with a strong sense of adventure or curiosity. In addition, most discussions concerning the Korths elicit questions regarding how and why they came to live that way. Tragedy. After being familiar, Edna and Haimo got married in the late 1970s or early 1980s. A total of six years passed during their marriage. At that point, the now obvious happened, and the young couple set out for Haimo's recently constructed cabin on the remote Alaskan North Slope, where the Arctic refuge was about to become an official area. The couple's initial issues originated from the substandard living conditions. Edna was obviously irritated by Haimo's admission that, as a young guy, he hadn't given much thought to the house's pretty terrible condition. However, all was set. That was their future, after a multiplicity of repairs and preparations for their first winter together. Colleen Ann, their first daughter, was born on May 29, 1982, but unfavorable events overshadowed the joy of parenthood. The family's boat crashed in the middle of a vacation in mid-1984, dragging Colleen away by the river. Their daughter had been named Colleen, and although her small body was never found, a shrine honoring her memory now stands along the Colleen River. It makes reasonable that Colleen's parents, who experienced a horrific loss, would still cry when they think back on Colleen 40 years ago. Even more remarkable is the tenacity with which they followed their way of life in spite of the distressing memories. Where is Haimo Korth now? The few people who had spent a significant amount of time residing in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge were Haimo and his family. They used to hunt and fish for food, and they constructed their own homes. He still leads a self-sufficient life in Alaska at the age of nearly 68. Even while he might not be as active on social media as the majority of people in the neighborhood, he still has a substantial fan base that is ready to hear from him. His ability to live in the woods and even prosper there is still greatly respected, and there are even rumors that he mentors young people who want to follow the ancient ways. Where is Edna Korth now? The four lovely children Haimo and his wife Edna reared together are now grown-ups and married. 
Nearly 400 miles from the bustle of the outside world, the couple lives alone in their cabin by the Colleen River. Throughout the summer, they travel, yet they always go back to their house. Edna's bravery, helping others, and tenacity to survive in Alaska's harsh climate and overcome the obstacles of the wild have served as an inspiration to many. Is The Last Alaskans Cancelled? Discovery chose in September 2019 not to produce a fifth season of The Last Alaskans. Even though the show had been a big hit for the network, gaining numerous awards and attracting a significant viewership, Discovery decided to cancel it after four seasons. Many of the show's admirers expressed their disappointment and displeasure after it was canceled. Numerous people took to social media to express their displeasure, and some even launched an online petition in an attempt to bring the show back. Despite the dissatisfied audience, Discovery is committed to ending the program. The network has said that they will carry the show's repeats, even though there are currently no plans to renew it for a fifth season. In several documentaries, Haimo Korth and his spouse acted as role models for living in the bush. Even if his roles in several TV shows bring in a substantial amount of extra money, Korth nevertheless supports himself and enjoys a simple life. Korth's total estimated net worth is predicted to be close to $180,000 by 2024. Edna Korth, on the other hand, is estimated to be worth more than $150,000. The married pair has a satellite phone, a radio, a chainsaw, and many other contemporary amenities, even though they are refugees in Alaska. Edna Korth Death Speculations It is true that Edna Korth was the victim of a death deception a worrying practice that is becoming common among public figures. Although the source of these recurrent reports of Edna Korth's purported death is unknown, they have scared and confused her fan group for some time. It's true that statements such as, is Edna Korth dead, should be regarded very cautiously unless they are verified by reliable sources. Edna Korth hasn't provided many updates, but based on her latest social media posts and occasional broadcast appearances, it seems like she's still living the celebrity life in the Alaskan tundra. Those who follow her lifestyle and worry about her well-being find comfort in her appearances. Since Edna Korth lives in a rural area, not much is known about her present state of health. Since she and her hubby have been living off the radar for some time, there haven't been many updates on their health. Although Edna suffers difficulties in her harsh Arctic refuge surroundings, her resilience and positive perspective have been demonstrated in previous public appearances. To the best of the public's knowledge, Edna Korth's medical problems have not been discussed or made public recently. Health-related rumors should never be trusted unless they are verified, as they are frequently grossly wrong or flat-out false. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching.